means no breath no breath because of obstruction as you can see in this image in normal breathing air flows freely behind the throat and it reaches easily to lungs in obstructive sleep apnea airway collapses and intermittently blocks the air flow to lungs and leading to obstructive sleep apnea now the overweight and fat around neck are risk factors for obstructive sleep apnea so we can broadly divide symptoms of sleep apnea into nighttime symptoms daytime symptoms and long term effects now in nighttime symptoms most important symptom is the snoring then the apnea episode observed by the partner then the choking sensation dry mouth waking up with bad dreams increased frequency of urination so daytime symptoms are morning headache irritability fatigue lethargy impaired memory and attention span so long term effects are early aging weight gain wrinkles uncontrolled high blood pressure and diabetes because sleep apnea can lead to uncontrolled high blood pressure diabetes it, it also increases the risk of stroke and cardiac arrhythmias it can lead to early aging and weight gain also so as i explained earlier throat muscle intermittently relax and blocks the airway in the sleep apnea now there are two important things happens in this one is the fall in oxygen level and the second is multiple arousals due to throat closure now going to fall in oxygen level four organs are most sensitive to fall in oxygen level first is brain heart kidney and eyes now the problems with arousal with each arousal adrenaline secretion occurs leading to increased heart rate and increased blood pressure second thing is increase in the cortisol level leading to high blood sugar third thing is incomplete sleep leading to non refreshing sleep daytime fatigue lethargy excessive daytime sleepiness fourth thing is less sleep leading to less growth hormone secretion early aging and weight gain so there are 95% chances of sleep apnea in males and 65% in females those who are on already three or more antihypertensive medicines second thing is uncontrolled diabetes more specifically during morning hours third is unexplained renal failure <music> symptoms as i explained earlier second thing is diagnostic sleep study which is the gold standard to diagnose the sleep apnea and the third thing is overnight oximetry can also help to diagnose the sleep apnea <music> so first is the weight reduction that is the most important thing second is the pap therapy some patient may need a surgery but that is very rare and the fourth is the dental appliances those who are not able to tolerate the pap therapy or those who can't lose the weight so pap therapy is a positive airway pressure therapy in this the pressured air is given through machine to keep the airways open there are two types of pap therapy one is the cpap and the bipap the basic function of this uh, machine is to keep the airways open from collapsing so cpap is a continuous positive airway pressure device it gives a single pressure and the bipap is a bi level device it gives one is on the baseline pressure and the second is a higher pressure those who have a severe sleep apnea may need a bi level device that is the bipap <laughs> sleep hygiene is a habit which helps us for a better nighttime sleep so there are certain important things in the sleep hygiene which we must follow first is our sleep and wake time has to be fixed no alcohol no smoking we should avoid tea coffee or any caffeine containing drinks after 6 pm should avoid heavy meals we should stop using electronic gadgets like mobile tv laptop set less to hours prior to sleep because all this gadgets gives out a blue light it affects our uh, sleep